pull it up there, above her off. Yeah, it's just there for the look, you know, that mm -hmm. classic look. And they have that rubber trash in here too, but it's just so degraded. It kind of matched what I was here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to pull these and just run fender, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Well, the problem is, is this brace is what holds this together. Um, I think these come back and tie back up in here, take her, so you don't have to worry about that. Is there a separate? Once you get this. Okay. Right. Got another brace. When I was looking at it, I'm just going to run no brace, but when you get this, I think this comes and ties you back in. The black one does. Okay. Right. The black one's going to do the trick. So. Yeah, it goes right here. Okay. Bang, so we can lose that, and we still have this. Well, we don't. It's not tied across, which is bad because we need really need to be across. Yeah. But I mean that. That's only there on this model. It's not there on any other model. Well, I mean that's there only for a look. All the old bikes they had a cross brace, and all the other bikes I've seen had braces going across. I mean they have a big black band on the newer bikes, but it still ties over to this. You can run and see how it does. If yeah, it doesn't, if it doesn't like vibrate, it, you're right? fine. If it vibrates, yeah. you need to put something between here and there. Right. For now, I, I think I'm just going to pull it off. Right? Worst case, you can and cut. I know these are these are extra too. Yeah. Worst case, you can cut this off right here. Right. If you have to. But... Um, okay. Let's get that off, and that's uh, going to help slightly. But it's, we're going to put a um, some wood underneath there, probably a four by, to get past that fender. Um, I don't, I don't think all that is worth the squeeze. I think we pull it off if we want to pull it. We we'll just I could get the front wheel off so I can get the bearings off. Got another jack right there on the floor. We can lift the bike up and pull it front higher. Right on the floor, right there, like I had it before. I mean, it's not access. very, it's not very stable doing it that way, but um, I back I bikes up before on the wood, but whatever. How do you want to do it? The juices. Oh, yeah. Don't know until you try. So we don't know until we try it. That's all I know. Okay, what's it take to get that thing off of there real quick? And shouldn't take much. Yeah. Make it go away. What size you need? Looks like a seven sixteen. your junk pile. It's not faring well over the last 20 years. Something about the Vegas sun. <laughs> I got some that are 40 years old look better than that. <laughs> Alright.
That circuit breaker reset or not? Yep. Uh, let me do some maneuvering around here. Figure out how we can get this on the rack. It'll be fun. We're gonna turn the handlebars now. Yes, we can. Look at that. Keep it back here so you don't break the camera. What are you blocking it for? Uh, could you take that the weight off? It's gonna set back a little bit. It makes it just a little bit more stable. Oh. Is that much weight difference? Should use a four by, I don't know if that thing. Find a 
press where you can find it. Such a thing around here. See if you need slightly. Which one of those new pads are there? Two of them over there. Four, remember? How do we do it? From the bike, against the wall, stand on that. Right there. What's that? Yep. Yeah, let's see you guys. You got the full broke brakes. Okay, what are we going to do for three or for, uh, 12 points? You got those? Come on. Yeah, it's working. Okay, we gotta pull the calipers off to get the wheel out. We need to pull the fairing brackets off somehow. So what do you gotta do on the fairing to get it off? I will try to find it. I think it's right. Let's get a little or something.
Where's it going? Everybody's got their ears up, that's what's happening. Safe zone, we're not getting knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> 